Good afternoon. I'm Sylvia the Crafty Old Lady and I wanted to show you what I got in the mail. It is a one inch punch, square punch, and I thought that I would cut out enough squares to go on here and make like a patchwork background and, um, and then maybe put some focal points or words on top and or words on top. And this is four it's four inches by seven and a half. So what I'm gonna do is find the center because I don't want like all one inch squares and then a half inch square on the bottom. So I'm gonna try to start in the middle. This is the center going this way right here. And this might be a little harder to figure out because of the Let's move my center over <laughs> so I can see it. All right, and this actually, I would say, is right about here. So I was pretty on target, but that's my center. So that's where my first row of squares are gonna be. And I think I'm just going to take some scraps that I have here and we'll cut these up. I even have little things like that that I can... This is a great way of using up scraps, I think. So that one I painted on. I won't use that one. Um... Well, let's go ahead and start with these and then we'll move on. So I need 32, about 32 squares. So let's just keep going. I don't want them all to be the same, you know. And some of them may not match with e each other either. So we'll see how it works out and how it looks. Or maybe I'll decide to try to make them go with each other. I don't know. They're not all from the same paper pad. I really thought, and <laughs> I thought when I first punched this out that it was very small. I, and I was wondering if it was actually an inch, but it is. I measured. <laughs> See, it's an inch. Actually, am I on camera? Yeah. There, it's one inch. But they look so small to me. Oh well. I'm not actually counting, so let's see. We've been hearing the peepers every night. That's nice. And I guess I'll go back. And I should have counted how many papers I had, and then I could figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. I'll probably speed some of this process up because I think it's gonna take a while. Maybe too what? Too long. Okay. Okay. I will count them when I'm all done. I figured if I do three of each, that might be enough. Mm, won't be able to get three of this one though. That's it for that one. I kind of feel like this doesn't go with the vibe. I think I'll save this for something else. I just feel like it doesn't go with the vibe. Let's see. I think I can get over here. All right. I know I don't have 32 yet. I am going to just keep punching. Hmm. I need to cut this one up a little to get to that yellow flower. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah. I thought I could move up even more. Okay, I think that's, yeah, I think that's it for that one. Okay, let's do these again. Okay, let's just start gluing down and if I need to make more, I will. 
I'm going to finish up all my purple glues. So I'm going to just do this. And we'll start with this. Uh, right like that. That's approximately the center. And I don't think I'm going to leave a space in between. So I thought I was going to be able to fit four across. Maybe I need to only start this way in the center. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think that's what I got to do. Um, now I measured and it's still, they'll do, oh my goodness, how is that possible? <sighs> Did I measure wrong? It's four. There should be plenty of space for four squares. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, now we'll do the row underneath and we'll see how that one goes. You don't have this one yet. did it in the middle and I knew I'd have a half an inch left and so it's a quarter of an inch on each side. It's actually I think more like an eighth of an inch. Okay we're done with that. Just have to cut it the edges off. We'll see how well I actually measured. Ah, oh, there's glue all over this. That won't do. Oh dear. Then my pages are going to be glued shut. Oh well. We'll deal with that later. Let's cut this off. I keep getting hair stuck to me. I think I'm cutting some of the page. Oh. And how this side? This side's harder. Actually, it was easier. <laughs> All right, so that's it. My patchwork background, and now I have to find something to put on top of it and I'm gonna go look through my fussy cutting fussy cut stuff oh look that's kinda cute I'd have to ink around it hmm let me get my stuff out my other stuff out alright so I have a whole bunch of fussy cut stuff well, not fussy cut. They're actually, I bought them already cut. I thought that looked really pretty there, but it takes up so much space. And then I thought, well, what about this on the bottom? Um, I don't like that one. That's a little bit too small. The bird, I think, just gets washed out into the background. And then I have, like, this is kind of too big I think uh, and I also have these that I punched but I don't think they're gonna they're gonna be too blend in with the background too much so I'm gonna look through I have like a dragonfly I think I would cut the leaf off though um, and then I have some smaller flowers which might work I kind of do like the boulder like, I'm not sure about pastel colors with this. 
think I like the bolder colors. What if I put a little this flower like off the bottom and then a flower up at the top and the dragonfly in the middle. Put this up like that and this across the bottom. And uh, then I'm going to fussy cut out <laughs> the dragonfly and see if I like that on it. It might blend in too much. I just don't like it with the leaves. And then maybe he could be like perched on the words or something like that. Oops. Got all that green off. And then after this I'm going to go outside because it's a beautiful day. And I hope you are having a beautiful day as well. So there's the dragonfly. Sort of getting washed away, I believe. I have the words thinking of you. <laughs> I don't think that's quite what I had in mind though. All right, let's do this. I feel like the words should be kind of big. So I'm gonna show you my word box. I'm wondering, actually, I didn't cut out the words that I picked yesterday. Retirement is bliss. <laughs> it's too big, though. <laughs> uh, let's see. Autumn? No. Breathing space. <laughs> Money. Tree of life? Healthy. That would fit. Oh my goodness. What do I have that I can put in there? Christmas. Something alien. Change is possible. That might be nice. I could do change is possible. Why not? Let's do it. Change. I'm wondering if I should ink around the edges. I think it stands out enough on its own though. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to ink around the edges. And I'm not sure I really have room for the dragonfly either. I will put change. Oh, change is. trying to get it centered but I'm not going to be <sighs> and straight too persnickety about it possible change is possible there I think that's good and it doesn't cover up too much of the background either now let's see if he would still fit on there. Yeah, nope, I still see maybe, I might have seen a B in here. I could just take the B off. I think I'll do that and see how he looks on there. Oops, don't roll away glue. And then I've got his antlers, <laughs> his antennas. So I think, should we put him right by the is?
my battery is getting low and it cut out there for a minute, but I did put the B there. That is my layout using my new Inchy Punch. And thank you so much for watching. Please be happy, healthy, safe, well, and strong and courageous. And we'll see you again next time.